Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Manchester United has beaten with four goals to three in an epic or emphatic game uh, here at, <clears throat> at the Wobbler Stadium. I must say this very clear. I don't know what you think about this game, but uh, it was a very, it's a game in which we had to win very easily. There was no reason why United wouldn't go take a three points today. I think we were the better side. We played overall better, but there were some outstanding players here. Guys, I just want to ask you, if you think Kobe Menu was the man of the match, smash a like on the video because I'm going to tell you guys why I think I give it to him. I wanted to give it to Rasmus and it's not only because of the goal, just a match of performance from Kobe Menu. I think I've said this on the channel several times that he is the future captain for Manchester United, honestly. I mean, he's a player who would not forget about the goal. The maturity he's just 18 and uh yeah that's my view about it so guys much like for that if you're a united fan i know when the game started most of you were so disappointed of us i mean seeing marcus rashford on the pitch i mean after what happened to him but uh, uh thank god that eric ten Hake got it right with rashford rashford came in he didn't have a fantastic game overall, but he did what he is paid for that scoring goals. So uh, personally, I think I'm satisfied. My take, I said it was going to be a 2-1. I never knew it was going to be a 7-goal difference, a 7-goal overall game. I said this very clear in my with my uh, analysis, in my, my preview. I said this was a good footballing team, but uh, honestly, United, we played them out of the park in the first half. And uh, they were very lucky to come back in the second half. I know most of you will uh, sit and talk about the goal considered by the goalkeeper. But guys, especially the third goal, no goalkeeper will consider that goal. Will will, will save that goal. Sorry, because when you when the ball is kicked in between your player's legs, there is no way a goalkeeper reflects or reacts to get the goal. So I think overall we are lucky. But you know, people make their luck in life and. And that's what I can take for the game. So tell me what you think below, who your man of the match is. We are going to do our player ratings. And guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and get involved with the United Way. We upload videos here every day. And uh, yeah, so I think, uh, I don't think, I know that my uh, Manchester United today, this was a game which we really had needed a three point. I don't care if it was going to be a 10, 10 11 score, scoreboard. I think it was just important for us to grab the third, third um, the goal. And guys, tell me if that was a penalty because I think that's not a penalty. I thought that was a simulation. And if you look at the body language of the ref, this is what I hate in the British refs because they they behave as if they are compromised. Because it's Manchester United, every ref wants to show I mean, some attitude, you know. Try, they want to be the staff, forgetting that the main actors are the footballers, but not them, the ref. So unfortunately, we have that in the UK uh, with refereeing, which uh, I find it very, I find it quite um, uh, unfortunate, I'll put it this way. So guys, I want to say this, okay, but I don't know what you know, direction you think. I think the first 11 we had today was uh, what you call a fresh kick tip. A keep tip so our, our main team 11 players if these players can be fit i think we can stand we can stand in manchester city on our day that's what i'm trying to say with casimiro i think the the, the, the one of the reasons why we, we had this uh, issue here were at the last minutes because uh, then had took out casimiro and i was a bit worried that if casimiro stayed that ref would have wanted to make a name by giving Captain Miro a second yellow card, which is obviously will be a red card, which is something we don't want because we need Casemiro for the next game. Even if we drew the game, I wouldn't be disappointed with Casemiro being changed because at the end of the game, there's a lot of emotions. The Wolves players will find a solution to, to get a fourth Casemiro as for a yellow card, which obviously would go that red card. That's what I'm just trying to get you guys to inboard. So let's go straight with the player ratings because that is why you click on the video. I think the goalkeeper, if we go considered, I'll give the goalkeeper Joseph a five because five over ten for me for Onana. And uh, yeah, I think uh, our two cent the central defenders were, were quite good. good. I would say um, Veran a seven, and um, I won't give Veran a seven. It's a, it's a six, six point five. I think Martinez as well six point five. Look sure he didn't do much. Five point five, the same, the same, the same as uh, I would give Dalo a seven. I think Dalo was more 
the more active in uh, defense in the midfield Kobe Menu. I give Kobe Menu a 7.5 he is my man of the match honestly Kobe Menu. and um uh Casemiro we need to know we need to accept the fact that he will be he will be a target for the English uh referees uh you know he's Casemiro so uh he needs to be careful I think he had overall a very good game he was that important 6.5 for me for Casemiro Bruno Fernandez not his best game he has issues with his last pass I tomorrow guys I'm going to upload a video tactically explaining what we learned in this game and that you might understand the tactical know of this game so uh, I think Bruno was a 5.5. Marcus Rashford, I mean, you can give Rashford anything. He scored a goal, so I'll give him a five because he wasn't he wasn't really very active. Ganacho at 5.5 to six. I mean, 5.5, you can give six or whatever. Uh, Rasmus Holland at seven. I think Rasmus Holland would have been my man of the match uh, today. But one of the reasons why I think Rashford, uh, I think, Ras sorry, Rasmus Holland is not the man of the match is just not only the... the, the display from uh from kobe menu but most of all the goal which is called which i mean that's the main reason we're happy today united has three points because we're all talking all about three points that's the main uh thing that we have here with my uh, with um, uh, with the uh, main reason why we are happy because uh the ref actually uh, almost i think he spoiled the game that wasn't a penalty tell me below if you think that was a penalty because i personally think no it wasn't a penalty and that penalty gave them an opening the ref the thing with this i don't want to talk about the ref a lot but i think english ref they play a lot with the crowd they, they i think they the worst referees in europe i believe they, they unfortunately play, um, are running the best league in the world so i mean we can't take anything but anyway we we took the three points congratulations to the team mentally then I did a lot of changes. Uh, it was a bit surprising, but I can see why he did it. We have uh, a game on, on Sunday against uh, West Ham. And um, I think we still have to have it. I mean, we have to use the team. So we have to use most of the players. There is some, uh, I have a feeling that Ten Hag has spoke with the board and he has to try to give most players some chances, you know, in order for us to know who to keep and who shouldn't. So um, that's where we are. In regards to Wolves, I think it's a good for them, good football side, football inside. And um, obviously, obviously, they'll stay in the Premier League, I think. So, but uh, well, kudos to them actually on the goal. But talking about statistics, we dominated. I remember in the first 10 minutes, we had like 91 or the 93 ball possession, which I've never seen it. But I love what I mostly enjoyed was the transition from the midfield to the attack. Rasmus Holland, for me, it's the big is the big thing i think rasmus holland and kobe menu are the stars of manchester united this uh are the future stars of manchester united if you thought marcus rashford is the star i think rasmus holland and kobe menu are coming in very slow you can even put ganacho as well this um, i'm putting kobe menu not because of the goal i mean this guy is 18 he plays like so like this is his fifth year in the premier league He's not, he's only minus as a footballer in terms of the quality of a footballer with, uh, with the Kobe menu is that he's not quick. He doesn't need to be quick. He is, he needs to be intelligent. He is uh, a midfielder. So that's where, uh, that's what I, I, I think. Anyway, guys, uh, smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way. A victory is what we wanted. Three points in the back. The next game is West Ham on Sunday. I hope to see you then. But if you watch till now, you're a legend. And uh, yeah, make sure you share the content and talk to you soon. The question which I wanted to know also from you guys is tell me who your man of the match is. We always obviously ask these questions. Tell me who your man of the match is and try to explain to me why. What did you learn from this game? We'll get a video for you tomorrow. So hopefully uh, we will have that topic tomorrow on the video. Anyway, as I said, have a nice evening and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.